Congratulations, Catherine, an All-American now. How's it feel? Amazing. <laughs> I wanted to get a top three this year, so I succeeded my goal. Yeah, so you were a number three going into the final. How do you feel the swim and the final went for you? I think it went pretty well. I'm, I wanted to go, you know, I wanted to place top three. And I also wanted to get a 20, 22, and I got a 22.99 when I saw the wall, and that was good enough for me. <laughs> We uh, figured out earlier this week that you and David were the only two representatives of West Virginia. Yes. So not only representing Fairmont State, but how do you feel as representing the whole state? Um, I, it's definitely, it's, it's nice, you know, it's nice to get noticed and recognized for all the hard work you put in, and I actually didn't realize we were the only ones in West Virginia until David had mentioned it to me, but it's, it's a good feeling to be representing the state and our school. Is a championship festival, so it's a big, big event. Lots of athletes, 1,200 athletes here in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. How's that been for you? I think it's exciting. You know, you have a lot of athletes that are here, and that you know, you know, they've all trained hard, and you know, I think we're kind of all the same. All right, and we're going to bring Coach Pat in now. Before he gets here, um, obviously, as a senior now, you've spent a lot of time with Coach Pat. How do you think he's helped you in your career, and what have you got to say to him? Uh. He's helped me through everything, absolutely everything, mentally, physically, having to deal with me. I've, I've been swimming with him for about 13 years now, and I absolutely love the coach. He's amazing, and he's given me everything I've, I've asked for. Coach Pat, um, Catherine had a pretty fast time coming into the meet, and um, she was kind of expected to perform. How do you think she dealt with that pressure, and also how do you think her performance at the end reflected on that? I think she handled the pressure a lot better this year. Um, last year her first crack at it she performed really well she was an all-american she was eighth place um, and she did put some pressure on herself to perform this year um, but I think it's been good pressure she worked really hard over the summer worked hard throughout the season and I think the pressure that she put on herself was to continually get better and I think that's really culminated with a really good performance here it's a n nice touch at the end there that you actually got to present Catherine with her award how was that for you as a coach Oh, it was great. Um, Steve Schaefer at Grand Canyon sent out an email asking for volunteers and I immediately sent back that I'd like to present the 50 freestyle and he was kind enough to, to let me do that. Um, I, I had to. Um, you know, if, if uh, someone else would have gotten, I would have begged them to, to trade with me. Um, it's, uh, it's been a long road to get to this point. Um, I, I knew she was capable of being in the top three uh, and she was within two tenths of a second of, of winning the thing. Uh, so she she had a really good performance and I wanted to be there at the end to, to congratulate her and hand her her trophy. Coach, you are um, not only representing Fairmont State this week, but the great state of West Virginia is the only school here and also is the only West Virginia natives. Obviously, proud moment for you to have two homegrown athletes competing for your team and representing the great state here. Absolutely. Uh, we've talked a lot about that over the last couple of weeks. Um, it's, it's great. Um, we have a lot of talent in the state. Um, and, you know, I think these two have kind of shown uh, young athletes in the state um, that, you know, you can perform on a big stage. Um, swimming seems like it's in its infancy in the state, but 
it's really come a long way and these two have really kind of put us on the map this week and that's that's great. It's great for us, it's great for the state, it's great for Grandma State.